Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. We're out here in the carving tent and I have already started this piece. This was like a practice thing. I'm trying to do a e smaller eagle perched on a branch with a tree that'll maybe be over a rock with roots. And I was kind of like, you know what, I'll just give it a go. We'll see how it is. And, I, and I'm kind of like seeing the vision as I go and I'm like, crud. I should have videoed this from the beginning. But hey, here we are, okay? This is where we're at. And uh, I don't know what the thumbnail is going to be at this point. You maybe already have seen it done or in the works, but yeah, we're uh, going to bring you guys along and finish carving this piece. So I don't know, give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all so you don't miss future uploads. We've been chainsaw carving live a lot lately and I try to upload those because it's real time. You guys can see cuts and uh, hopefully help those beginners out. I don't do a ton of eagles. So that's why I was a little hesitant to even video it, but uh, it's coming along nice. And I gotta get more practice on them anyway and get them out there for you guys. So yeah, whatever. Uh, be sure to check out the store tab, get yourself some merch. Thank you to all my members, you guys rock. And uh, let's continue to keep going, making sawdust stuff with chainsaws. All right. All right, so I'm gonna try to answer questions I normally get throughout the video. Uh, what am I carving? Yellow pine. And the saw that I'm starting with and have done most of the blocking with on this particular unit is the Steel MS-170. Uh, this has a quarter pitch sprocket, 12 inch bar, roll nose, regular bar with 43 gauge quarter pitch chain. Now this particular saw was blown up. Motor was shot and I put a motor in it from Amazon, uh, $37.99 been tweaking a carburetor and doing a bunch of different stuff. If you guys want to see more on this saw and what I've done to it, you can check out my other channel, Kyle's Chainsaw Rescue. Go there, hit subscribe, and look for the MS-170 or Amazon 170 videos. I have a few more of those in editing actually right now to kind of, you know, talk about this saw more and some of the other things that I'm currently doing with it. I'm also going to have that channel kind of be a little bit more of the working on chainsaws and chainsaw upgrades if you will and things like that so if that interests you be sure to check it out Kyle's Chainsaw Rescue all right guys quick look at where I'm at so far in the block and getting that branch sticking out with everything on there um, let me know what you guys think. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all, and uh, check out the store tab while you're here. We've got some available merch with some new designs.
Here it is, figured I'd give you a look at the piece. I think I'm gonna finish it in another video. We'll do some paint and wrap it up. Um, I'm, I'm happy with it so far. I've gotta practice on my ego heads a little bit more, but I love the way the tree is off the rocks and the flow, and I'm super happy with all that. Um, feathering looks great in my opinion. I do wanna mention that I will be carving live March 23rd and 24th, 2024 in Saratoga Springs, New York at the Saratoga City Center. The event is called the Northeastern Woodworker Show. You guys can Google it, Northeastern Woodworker Show, Saratoga, New York, and uh, see the dates, the times, and cover fees and all that. There's a lot of awesome things at this event. Um, a lot of woodworking stuff, but I'll be there with the battery saws carving live, and I will have pieces available as well. Hopefully I'll see you guys there. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this piece here. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit subscribe, hit that bell, hit all, turn on YouTube notifications so you guys don't miss future uploads. Have an awesome day.